All right, bladesmiths, you've made it into the final round. However, your work is not over yet. We're sending you back to your home forges to recreate an iconic weapon from history. That weapon is the Chinese Dao. Referred to as the courage of all soldiers, the Dao is one of China's oldest and most revered edged weapons. For over 3,000 years, this single-edged sword was carried into war by Chinese cavalry. The blade's slight curve offered its users superior thrusting and chopping power, while its concave guard prevented enemy blood from dripping onto the handle. Mounted soldiers favored the weapon for its ease of use on horseback. Often wielded at a gallop, the sword could fatally sever enemy limbs with little resistance. Good luck, bladesmiths. We'll see you in five days. Congratulations. Yes. My name is Joe Calton. I'm 39 years old, and I'm from Cheyenne, Wyoming. I'm Casey Perdue. I like working with Joe. He lets you make your own mistakes, but he also shows you how to correct them. He said a master smith means nothing other than you've made all the mistakes and figured out how to fix them. The challenging part on this blade, I think, is going to be the thinness of it and getting the weight down to where I feel the judges are going to be comfortable testing it. So the game plan's forge thick, and then we'll take that meat out when it comes to grinding. I like working by hand more. I feel like I have more control. But the best thing about the power hammer is that it saves time. I think I left Joe in a pretty good spot. The quench is nerve wracking. If you tilt it, if you turn it, can cause a blade that normally wouldn't warp to warp. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Now, I've got to thin the blade down quite a bit. So what I'm looking at is a nice, even balance here so that this blade will sail through whatever it is that they put in front of it. Casey wanted to inlay pins in the ring, one for each of the competitors. So we're going to have two pins that hold the pommel to the tang, and then six more pins in the ring on the bottom. I think it turned out amazing. It's going to slice and dice anything they swing it at and there is no edge damage. My name is Mark J. Hopper. I teach smithing in Atlanta, Georgia. My name is Jessica D. Collins, and I've been apprenticing with Mark for four years. Eventually, I got good enough to help him actually design the classes. This is almost at that point when a master turns to his apprentice and goes, it's time to become a journeyman. This is strange for us because I literally can't do anything. Nope, you cannot. Ah. <laughs> You're driving me nuts. It's the hardest day's work that I've ever had in my life, <laughs> and I haven't picked up a ready hammer. <laughs> Jessica's put me in a fantastic place. Now, I would like to quench. It's very thin. I'm just expecting this thing to turn into a floppy noodle on me. No. Got a warp in there. Put it between some wood, drop an anvil on top of the wood. It's so straight. <laughs> I need to get the ring pommel in the back. Stop that shit too far again. Damn it. Turns out there was a gap. That's not going to work. It's very, very stressful. OK, low sign can't get this pommel fitted on, then that $10,000 losing it could be my fault. Bladesmiths, this is the kill test. To see what kind of lethal damage your blade will do, we're going to deliver some slashes on this wild boar carcass. Joe, Casey, you're up first. Are you ready? Oh yeah. oh, yeah. I would love to wield your weapon, but I'm still healing from an injury. So I'd like to bring in Anthony Palmer, and today, he will be my arm. Have fun. All right, Joe, Casey, off the bat, it is light. You got the weight perfect on the draw cut right here. You can see that it lacerated easily. The cut here on the spine, you can see all the nice pieces of bacon that we're gonna make later on with this particular carcass. Your blade, it will kill. Good job, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you.
Mark, Jessica, you're up next. You ready? Definitely. Absolutely. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, Mark, Jessica. Now, your blade is wider, but the balance is light. In this particular slice, almost cut in half, but definitely on the final cut, glided easily. Your blade is curvaceous and sexy, and it will kill. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Next up is a strength test. Ben? Bladesmiths, I'm going to take each of your swords and deliver one Herculean strike on this piece of sheet metal to see how it affects your blade. Joe, Casey, you're up. You ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a beautifully light sword. It's very well balanced. I like the string wrap handle. It's easy to keep a good grip on it. The edge took a little bit of dulling. There's a piece of the sheet metal almost welded onto your blade from the impact, but it's still very well done. Thank you. Thank you. Mark, Jessica, you guys are up. You ready? Indeed. All right. Mark, Jessica, this is a beautiful sword to wield. It's so comfortable, it's so well balanced. The steel did a little number on your sword, though. There's a chip right there. But uh, for such a light and fast weapon as both of these are, actually, it's, it's amazing that they uh, got away this unscathed. Very well done. Thank you. Next up is a sharpness test, and for that, I'll give you to Dave. To test the edge of your blade and see if it's retained that edge, I'll be cutting through these water tubes. Joe. Casey, you guys ready? Oh, yeah. Let's go All for right. it. Joe, Casey, your sword has a great feel to it. I like the shape of the grip, but there's that section where that edge is rolled. And that's where the cut started. And you can see that first tube kind of crushed. Then it starts to cut as I get up into this sharper section up in here. By then, everything had pushed over. It kind of crushed that last tube. It's a beautiful piece. Well done. Thanks. Thanks. All right, Mark, Jessica, you ready? Yeah. Indeed. OK. So, Mark, Jessica, you maintained a bit more of an edge here. You can see that cut travels through there. They're clean across the tops. Didn't blow out any of the tubes, didn't crush any of them. Anyway, uh, beautifully made piece. It's definitely a cutter. Nicely done. Thank you. Thank you. Bladesmiths, your Chinese Dao have been tested, and the judges have evaluated the finer details of your work, and they've made their final decision. The Forged and Fire champions are. Mark and Jessica, congratulations. You are the Forged and Fire champions. Joe and Casey, your weapon did not make the cut. Please surrender your blade. We lost fair and square, but I couldn't have asked for a better week of learning. Casey's an amazing apprentice. I have no doubt he'll be an amazing master also. Mark, Jessica, you are our new Forged and Fire champions, and that's a title that comes with a check for 10 grand. Congratulations. I'm blown away. At that time, please present your weapon to the judges. It's the finish of the biggest roller coaster yeah. ever. The training that Jessica has gone through works, and it can turn somebody into one heck of a smith. It's amazing. <laughs> it's going to take a while for this to sink in, without a doubt. <laughs>